Hey guys, look for here and welcome to another FIFA 20 preview. And in this video, guys, I'm reviewing the 73 rated in form Luca Zidane. Not Zinedine Zidane, but Luca Zidane. I've got his son, I've got the next best thing, pretty much. Um, yeah, he is actually able to uh, somehow got himself an in form and a really, really good performance. He actually played on like last Thursday or something in a league match for a Racing Santander who are, of course, in the Liga Adelante. I was able to pick up his card for 20,000 coins in the three games that I played when he didn't score me any goals, obviously, but he did actually get me one assist and a really good assist as well. He's also got a free stubbing foot as well as one-star skill move. I obviously did have the basic chemistry stat applied to the goalkeeper. Uh, some of his main stats, not too many to talk about, but his 74 diving, uh, 74 reflexes, 72 handling, and also uh, 73 positioning. And uh, the reason why you should obviously have the basic chemistry stat applied to this card is because it gives an increase to every every single stat in the goalkeeping cards. It actually takes his diving, his handling, his kicking, his reflexes, and his positioning. All of those go into the 80s um, with the basic chemistry style. So he kind of becomes like an 82 rated or 83 rated basic like goalkeeper effectively, which is really, really awesome. And he actually plays really, really well in game. Apologies if I'm, if I'm kind of trying to rush this video, but Liverpool are currently, I've already played for five minutes against Napoli, so I, like I'm a bit behind schedule because obviously I want to go and watch that game. That's why I only played three games with the Promise card and all with the Zidane card as well because I really want to watch Liverpool hopefully qualify for the last 16 tonight. So hopefully you guys do understand that I only played three games with them. I'm not trying to rush the video, but apologies if it sounds like that I am at the same time, but hopefully you guys understand it only takes place once every like month when the Champions League is played and stuff, or once every couple of weeks or whatever, but um, yeah, he actually made some insane saves from here. The one issue that I do have to him, we'll talk about a little bit later on, but his positioning is fantastic. Like the way he was able to position himself just to, you know, to, to essentially block shots almost was absolutely insane. So at 73 positioning, that goes up to um, 81 positioning uh, with that basic camera stat. And yeah, he just positioned himself really, really well to be able to make saves. Not like making amazing, well, you know, he did make a few really good saves to be fair, but just, you know, he just, as I said, positioned himself really, really well. And you'll see it in the clips as well, how he's able to just where people are playing balls across um, like the goal and stuff like that. And he just positions himself really well to be able to just essentially just save it. It was really, really good. I, I struggle to do goalkeeper reviews because I don't really know how to go about the best describing them. I also show, uh, show a couple of the goals that I conceded as well. In the three games, I only conceded three goals with this car, which is absolutely insane. And it was because I wasn't getting tested. It was because you know, I was getting tested and he was just making fantastic save after fantastic save. They were really, really good quality saves. His diving as well was also really awesome. He has got um, 84 diving and that goes up to, seven, uh, to 83 diving as well with the basic cam start. And yeah, you know, honestly, again, I have to say really, really good. The clips will do the talking for you to show how good his positioning and diving was. Um, it, it really, really was impressive. Uh, the only issue that I do have to him is his kicking. Now, I, I say kicking being the issue. When it's a goalkeeper's kick and you're just kicking it up as normal, it's fine. But let's say you've got a free kick, um, uh, you know, with a goalkeeper. Well, not a free kick with a goalkeeper, but let's say your centre back passes it back to the goalkeeper or whatever, and then you kick the ball up with him. He struggles, even when I put a lot of power onto like the, the goalkeeper, he struggles to be able to kick it up and um, meet opposition players. Having said that, he can kind of get away with that really easy by just doing throw-ins and stuff like that. And actually, his assist came from the ball came in and there was like a set piece from the opposition. He was able to catch the ball. He throws it very quickly to Promise, who runs right down the left-hand side of the pitch and goes and scores an insane goal. So yeah, his assist was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, on the whole, it's actually a really good card. You can get him even cheaper than 20,000 coins as well. You can get him for like almost discard value, I think, at the moment, which is crazy. But um, he's a good card. I'm actually going to put him in my main team. It's by 85 Herodeki and it's hello 73 rated Luka Zidane um, honestly I'm actually going to use him from now on because I actually really really enjoyed him and um, I think it's just really really cool to have him in my club and I'd be genuinely happy if I can get him in silver 2 for champs rewards tomorrow but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this preview and I'll see you guys later